Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, got the agenda here for today, Thursday. I think it's still Thursday, right? Kind of hard to tell the days of the week now. Um, one thing, please check Power School. Um, some of you have done some things. Maybe it's been turned in late, something like that. So uh, just make sure that if you have that little uh, orange mark that denotes missing uh, and you actually have it done, then you need to let me know uh, that you have turned that in. Um, the crossword puzzle that I gave you yesterday to do, um, I didn't put a due date on that. Uh, hopefully some of you have been figuring that out, um, but I'll make that due on Friday. So Friday by, let's say 8 a.m. Uh, that's tied to lesson four. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that, something a little bit different um, as opposed to just sort of uh, questions and answers, questions and answers, uh, but you guys seem to get the hang of that. Um, lesson five, the one that's uh, attached to what I'm sending out today. Uh, again, trying to do something a little bit different. Um, so instead of uh, just, there are a couple questions to answer, uh, but one thing that I'm asking you to do is to find five different images of the War of 1812. So um, obviously photographs are gonna be hard to come by uh, back then, but uh, paintings, maps, uh, maybe pictures of battlefields, things like that, um, whatever images you can think of, uh, five images that have to do with the War of 1812, um, and then include a caption as well. Um, captions don't need to be super long, uh, but you know, a complete sentence just so, you know, don't just put like impressment, right? Explain maybe a little bit what impressment was and when that took place and who was involved, which is within that one sentence. Um, I think it makes the most sense to include that in a Google slide. So that's why I included that as well uh, in today's post. Um, and then if you scroll down through Google slides, you'll see my example. Um, I didn't use the War of 1812, but you can kind of see uh, what I'm looking at there. All right, so that's lesson five images. Uh, next, lesson four. So lesson four gets into what's called the first phase of the war. Um, and hopefully you realize that the reason it was the first phase is because the British weren't paying so much attention to us. Um, they were still fighting Napoleon in France and Europe, so they um, they had some other things that were, uh, that were on their docket. Um, but America uh, was very unprepared for war. Um, it talks about, um, you know, the size of the army and the, the drunkenness that existed among the officers. Um, in fact, the British um, sent a letter or across the Atlantic, of course, um, saying that they promised not to interfere with Brit American shipping anymore. Um, however, because there was no telegraph, there was no telephone, we talked about the importance of uh, instantaneous communication because they did not have that. Um, America basically got the, we had already declared war by the time uh, the British said my bad for uh, some of their uh, uh, wayward shipping policies there. Um, so that's sort of an interesting wrinkle and that's actually gonna come up again in lesson two, uh, or I'm sorry, in lesson um, five, uh, talking about the second phase of the war. Uh, but America did have some victories in lesson four. Oliver Hazard Perry is mentioned. Uh, the Battle of Thames, uh, where Tecumseh is killed, that's all mentioned in Lesson 4, so hopefully you found some of that uh, information there. Um, as far as Friday goes, um, it'll be pretty light. I'm making the uh, the Lesson 5 images. That's not going to be due until Monday. shouldn't take you too long, but uh, I don't want to give you hours of work each day necessarily. Um, but tomorrow, the only thing, you won't have any new information. Uh, it'll just be one of those uh, multiple choice quizzes that we typically have towards the end of the week. So uh, similar format where you'll highlight the correct answers and get that turned into me. Um, so um, the crossword puzzle, uh, as well as those couple questions, uh, that's due tomorrow. That was given to you uh, yesterday on Wednesday. Uh, lesson five, where you got to answer a couple questions and then come up with images. Um, that's not going to be due until Monday. Um, so that's it for new information I'm going to be giving you. Tomorrow is a day to uh, get some of those things done, uh, make sure you don't have any missing assignments, uh, and then take a few minutes to take that quiz. Um, again, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I know it, uh, it's kind of it's tough being stuck at home, and I know a lot of you have um, different responsibilities now that maybe you didn't have as far as like, uh, you know, babysitting younger siblings or cousins or you know maybe you're spending your days at uh, somewhere else um, so I don't know maybe some of you are enjoying all this time some of you might be struggling with it um, but hopefully uh, hopefully doing a little bit of social studies work uh, gives you give you some normalcy um, hopefully I'll, we'll see you again uh, relatively soon all right have a good day everybody bye